Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the film The Girl Raised as Future Daughter-in-Law, which was produced in South Korea in 1965. So, in an unspecified period of time, probably uh, centuries ago, there was a very poor girl. She was already a young adult and then she would marry the son of a wealthier family because she lived with her widow mother and uh, they were about to lose their poor house and then the marriage would be a way for her mom to save her house and then she went she moved out to the house of her future husband and then her future husband was a child he was much younger than her and her father his father was nice but her future mother-in-law she was terrible treated her as a maid she had to do all the heavy work of the household while the mother-in-law did nothing and she really maltreated and humiliated her future daughter-in-law however despite the difference of age she got along very well with her future husband her future husband loved her very much and was very caring with her which just worsened her situation because when her mother-in-law realized that she thought that her daughter-in-law would steal her baby boy from her and then her husband the future father-in-law tried to control the temper of his wife but it didn't work and then she she was extremely uh, humiliated then she went outside to get some water and then she met by chance uh, a suitor that she had in the past who begged her to leave the house that he would pay her debt with the, her in-laws but she refused even to talk to him she told him directly that she was engaged to someone else that he was supposed to forget about her unfortunately to her some other women of the neighborhood they saw her talking with this guy and they told her mother-in-law her mother-in-law really beat her up with a whip and then after a while after all this humiliation she got sick and when the future daughter-in-law got sick the future mother-in-law sent her back to her mother because she didn't want to stay with that sick woman who would be unable to do anything in the household and then she was sent back to her mother however her son even though he was still a child he followed his future wife because he loved her very much he wanted to stay with her then the mother-in-law she arrived in the house of her future of her future daughter-in-law insulted her mother insulted everyone took her son out of there by force and then after that the mother of the girl she realized that she would be forced to sell her house to pay the debts to pay her debts and then they would have to find somewhere else to somewhere else to live maybe on the streets i don't know but she would leave her humble household her husband her the husband and the son of the mother of the, of the little boy they begged her not to insult the mother of her future daughter-in-law but it didn't work out and then the engagement it was over because after all the future mother-in-law brought the daughter-in-law back to her home to her mom as if she was a bag of potatoes and she had a terrible temper her mother realized that she was brutalized there and didn't want her to return anymore it's okay however her husband and son didn't want to accept that because they loved their future wife and daughter-in-law after all so the son 
pretended that he was sick while his father tried to find a shaman who would tell his wife that it would be better to bring back home the future daughter-in-law because she would be precious to the family and if she didn't do that her baby boy would pass away very soon <coughs> and of course that she got very scared it was her only child and he did she didn't want to lose her son and then she discussed with her husband if it would be better to bring the future daughter-in-law or not and in the meantime the future daughter-in-law and her mom they sold their house and they moved somewhere else and they were totally unaware that her future mother-in-law wanted her back because they lived in villages that were relatively distant then the future mother-in-law she repented she regretted her actions and she wanted her future daughter-in-law back realizing that she was caring with her son that she did all the housework that she was never a bad person and then she tried to find her but then of course the future daughter-in-law and her mom had already left home with their belongings but they left home on foot so it wouldn't be too hard to find them so they tried to find them at first they went to the wrong way but then after a while they got to find the future daughter-in-law and her mom and then the woman the mother of the boy she talked to them the mother of the future daughter-in-law she was extremely insulted of the treatment that her daughter had because she knew that her daughter was beaten up that she was humiliated that her work was exploited and of course that she didn't want her daughter to return however the daughter only had problems with the mother-in-law but she missed her father-in-law and her future husband despite the future difference of age there was genuine love and affection between them both so when the future mother-in-law realized that she that when the future daughter-in-law realized that her in-laws wanted her back she wanted to return and she realized that her future mother-in-law was doing the best she could then she convinced her mother to let her go and this is what exactly happened as her mother was ill she couldn't leave her mother behind so her future mother-in-law invited her mother to live with them too at first the mother refused because she thought she would be exploited too treated as a maid but the future mother-in-law talked to her said that she regretted everything she did that she had disgraceful attitudes before it wouldn't happen again then the mother was convinced to go after all both mother and daughter didn't have anywhere to go anyway so they went back home and in the very beginning of the film we can see that the boy the child the future husband he got to follow his mother and take his future wife home she was very touched by this act and then they were happily together home and it seems that after all this mess nothing bad would happen again this is a very interesting film it provides valuable insight about how life was like in ancient asia we don't know exactly the time frame when this plot happened but we can see how people lived doing manual work how they related to each other the clothes they wore so it's a really nice time machine and those old korean films they are important to understand the current k-dramas so it's really nice it's a good cultural experience and even though those films aren't too easy to have access you can take a look at them anyway 
If you don't get to find the films online, you can find some writings about them in blogs, in websites. So it's a part of cinema history that is really important to know, but at the same time, it's so underrated. So I really recommend you this film. It's touching. It's interesting to see how love can happen, even though there are bad circumstances and how poverty can, tr uh, can crush people so much. But at the same time, we can see that things can have a good and positive outcome. So you are going to like this very much. That's all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you!